It's kinda nice to play the game normally again. Just going through the story, everything perfectly normal. Wait a minute. Yellow crystals. Starfall sword. Hold on, isn't this like the first cutscene? Alright. We know that me playing Genshin Impact normally is a joke at this point. And if you're unfamiliar with my content, let's just say that I've broken this game. I've broken this game a lot. With this video series serving as the culmination of all my game and glitch knowledge put to the test. So without further ado, allow me to introduce you to my no stamina, traveler only locked ultimate iron ma- wait, wrong game. Say hello to Traveler-san. This account has only one major rule. I can only use the Traveler. Let's elaborate. I will only use the Traveler. The sole exception to this rule is those rare times the game forces you to play another character, while also locking out your ability to switch characters. For example, Xiao's story domain. As seen here, it is impossible to play any other character through the duration of Xiao's first story domain. To prove my resolve on this, you're about to see all three tutorial domains completed using only the Traveler. That's right, Amber, Kaya, and Lisa's trial domains without using them. But there's something Traveler-san needs before we can do any of this. And if it weren't already obvious what that something is, it's the power of Geo that lies beyond the tutorial map restrictions. Time to tear through the Paimon Barrier. And uh, just to clarify my terminology here, the Paimon Barrier is what I call the red border around maps. We're starting humbly here, gotta do what everyone did their first time playing, and swim to this rock. I'm looking to quickly kit the Traveler with artifacts, health is most important right now, but not much is needed. I know I can make this jump. Come on, no? There we go. Yeah, not gonna be getting the goods though. Or maybe I will because they move elsewhere when the area is reloaded. It's really cool that Paimon is visible and follows you at the beginning. I think I'd like an option to see her flying around like this again. She turns to face the camera if you enter photo mode and will even wave. That's some detail for something we'll never again see the moment we obtain Animo, or enter any loading screen. Anyways, let's hit the shops in town to get the rest of our gear. You'll find no second-rate items at Wagner's. My dude, they're all literally second-rate. It honestly feels weird using these shops, don't think I have on the main account in well over a year. Okay, that's a fully kitted traveler, mostly. On to the main event. First we nab the power of Animo, then we nab the power of Geo like so. See? Easy. Alright, alright. Buckle in. Because breaking the Paimon Barrier is a long and tedious process. We're all very familiar with this message. And what can be said of our best bud Paimon other than that she's a bit of a party pooper at times. And other times, she outright tries to make us walk to our death. Up until now, I've had a few run-ins with trying to get past the Paimon Barrier. I've burrowed underground to try and go below it. On the literal flip side, I went into outer space to try and go above it. And back in good old version 1.0, I even attempted to go through it using the photo mode glitch. Man, I really missed that one. Just freely flying anywhere, able to clip through anything. Not a single one of those three attempts worked. Surely, with all that stated, the trick that finally gets us past the Paimon Barrier must be insane. You had better believe that is absolutely in no way the case because look at this. Yup, that's right, we log out. The secret all along was to give a cruel, cold shoulder to Paimon. And when we log back in, 
we can move freely for about a second and a half. Oh yes, we're about to log in and out of the game upwards of a hundred times. Cue the montage. To answer the title question, no, we can't get Geo before Animo. It would appear that Animo must be acquired at Starfell Lake to enable the resonate option on other statues of the Seven. But we can get it immediately after, while still in the tutorial phase of the game. Now, credit where it's due because I'm not the one who discovered this neat little trick. While I knew of these loading grace periods, and have used them in the past, I never once thought to use the grace period granted by logging into the game. So, kudos to Nobles and their No Element Traveler series for the tip. Now that we're the best version of the Traveler, it's on to the story. Kinda cool seeing Geo Traveler in these cutscenes. I had thought cutscenes like our first encounter with Venti and Devalon were pre-rendered, but we can see that they aren't given our Traveler is still imbued with Geo. Well, the run is dead. I'm forced to play Amber here. This is an example where an exception must be made. I can't move, I can't attack, and I can't even open the menu. I tried closing and reopening the game, and even disconnecting the internet, but nothing worked. So we'll shoot our arrow and move on, promptly removing Amber from the party. Hello Devalin. This cutscene's pre-rendered. Let's move on to the tutorial domains. Starting with Ambers, there's nothing too significant here. We can hop over the vines obstructing our path easily. While we could probably skip to the end using Geo, I've instead switched back to Animo to clear it normally. All we have to do is inflict Pyro on traveler San with a torch, and then swirl it at the Pyro Monument. Simple enough. Phew, I'm tired. Kaya's domain could be completed normally as well those spike traps being placed just close enough to leap over. But since we have Geo, we might as well go up and over the first part and skip ever adding Kaya to the party. Unfortunately, this won't prevent him from joining us afterwards, but it was worth a try. I'm curious, if I place Starfall Sword here... Perfect. And now for Lisa's domain. Let's also skip adding her to the party. This domain is the whole reason we nabbed Geo in the first place. Not far into the domain is an Electro Monument. It's part of a sealed room, and there's no way to progress without activating it. There's also nothing that could apply Electro to us that we could use to swirl the monument. However, if we take a look above us in the previous hallway, no ceiling. Nice. All we have to do is climb. And we're up and out of there. From here, we can make our way higher still and skip the entire domain. It's a pretty cool view from way up here. I wasn't too confident I could glide straight to the end, so I went for the platform instead. Lisa's getting the same treatment as Kaya? Uh, or not. Weird. It forced her into the party and made her the active character. This actually happened with Kaya, too, but it faded to a cutscene instantly in his case. I had to look to see if she was still standing at the entrance of the domain. Turns out, that objective was marked complete when the game forced her into the party, as both her and the quest marker were gone. You know, when I was reviewing this footage, this updraft really stuck out. I had to wonder, was all my effort in getting Geo at Adventure Rank 3 pointless because of it? I mean, it takes you pretty high into the air, and those moving platforms aren't too far off. So I made yet another account to test this. Okay, whew, wait, but what if I go around the corner here and try to skip just the room with the Electro Monument? 
This exists only to invalidate my efforts, doesn't it? Because this invisible terrain is just enough of a boost to allow us to reach the platforms. Well, it was an interesting journey nonetheless, right? It's not about the destination, but the journey. Yeah, that's what counts. So many wasted hours. And so concludes the first quest in this grand adventure. Without access to Hydro, Cryo, or Pyro, I'm sure things will get a bit tricky at times. It may even be possible that we hit a dead end. As for Electro, I think that's next on the agenda. Except, man, Adventure Rank 30 and Inazuma are quite a ways off. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. Hmm. You know what? Why don't we go to Inazuma right now? At Adventure Rank 7. Yeah, let's make it official. Traveler San's next goal? Break into Inazuma. To keep up with Traveler San's bizarre adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. I also sometimes share sneak peeks of content over on my Twitter, at Musashiden. If that's of any interest to you, feel free to follow. This is Musashi and Traveler-san, signing off. Till next time.